Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Tokesh and today we are going to discussing about how to handle frames in our playwright. How we can able to handle these things like uh, we have the selenium having a different kind of approach like driver dot window dot switch to dot like of frames we are providing driver switch to and frame and which is the frame is related to locator or name or index position. <clears throat> One moment. Basically, we can able to select a frame in other languages, uh, like Selenium with Java, Selenium with Python. Anyone, we can able to check. We can able to use for frame name, or we can able to use an index position, or we can able to use a locator. Okay, these are the three ways we can able to select in our frame and we are doing for inside the frame we are going to and doing some actions why this frame is basically to understanding this like if the frame is presented how come to you know whether that is particularly frame is presented or not what frame can contain inside it means I'm going to show you this example, okay? Once you click anywhere, see, there are two options it is provided. One is like view frame source or reload frame, okay? Normally it will show for only for view page source. But if you are not, other than that view page source, if you are able to see means there are two options are presented. If the frame is presented means if you inspect this particular element and see the view page source, if you search with the control F by using frame, you can see the frames are highlighted. Basically it will present for iframe, okay? The frame can have the name of the frame or ID or title or URL, anything it will be presented. <coughs> We can able to uh, we can able to find our frame by using name or any attribute of the frame or URL of the frame. Okay, and also we can able to use for locator any locator we can able to use and we can able to find our frame by using our automation side. Okay, whenever you are not able to click in, what exactly it will contain the frame? First, I will discuss the frame. Okay. If you click this overview page, the frame is having for entire HTML documentation. Inside that HTML document, there are so many hyperlinks. So many hyperlinks. Again, if you mouse over and in source, you can see there are so many anchor tags. Okay, each anchor tag is having for separate page. Means anchor tag indicates a different page the page having some value okay these all are anchor tags okay this particular frame having another html page source okay it is completely different application it will store inside a frame they can able to store for complete website different a website in, inside a frame or they can be able to make it some drop down values into there are some text boxes a login button, anything they can able to store into a frame. A frame can contain one different application, okay? And that different application contain anything, okay? How we can able to navigate into inside this frame and how we can able to do our operation, okay? These are the things we can able to do it, okay? I'm going to show you one simple example. Here, yeah. I'm going to take the frame locator and I'm going to clicking here. Okay, and while I'm doing the execution, that moment I'll tell you what other programming language is doing and how we are doing here. Okay, now see, I'm going to, sorry. Now I'm going to do for, first I'm going to finding a locator. Okay, just I'm going to using this name of this. 
or text i'm going to take this particular one okay and the text based upon the text i'm going to clicking for that element inside the frame okay for that we need to use for any one of frame locator okay we have there are three options one is frame okay another one is like a frames and another one is frame locator okay we'll see in this video session the frame locator and frame how we can able to find it now i'm going to use in this particular frame one okay that are by using for locator i'm going to inspecting here you can able to inspect it there is a first one is overview frame okay that we are already seen this is a particular one having for that entire information is having this particular lo location that's why i'm going to take for this particular frame value okay this particular name of frame i'm going to take and i'm going to inspecting here control f frame frame and name of frame and equal to i'm going to providing for my frame name now <coughs> hey frame okay now you can see one frame is highlighted then i'm going to use it this particular locator here now I'm going to what I can do. We need to uh, click our uh, particular element. Which element we need to click for this particular name of that, right? Just I'm going to copying this name. See what will happen if I click this particular one. If I click here, you can see this are all the attributes it is displaying. Okay, these are all the attributes. Okay, whether we can able to click that particular element or not, we can see. I'm going to use for text and I provided for my text value. Then what I mean, I want to do the click operation. Okay, now I'm done for click operation. Sleep five seconds because we need to see the execution of this particular one. And I'll tell you once this execution is completed, right? After that, I'll tell you what exactly it will happen for other languages also. Okay. <clears throat> and test. Okay, in that name it is having for there are one zero three elements. Oh, no, I can use it for first operation. So you can see the first operation it is clicked and we can able to see the different uh, methods okay now if i want to click the second in here if i want to click for alert one how we can able to do in other languages see basically if you are going to for any other language which uh, is using for java selenium java python anything like programming language when you are using for selenium okay first what we can do that basically in case if you have multiple frames are presented in the same page you have to do for all the frames uh, action one by one you want to move and you need to do the some operation then how you can able to do it a uh, means first we need to find a frame we need to find frame okay then once you find the frame you need to go inside a frame then do your operation okay do your operation once you've done the operation you need to come back come back a default default frame then if you want to work with uh, any other frames then again you have to move back like you have to provide again you need to choose another frame with the name or locator or index then you need to do for your, your operation again into the same frame 
means a new frame it is the frame you move right that frame you have to do another up and again if you have another frame to work right again you need to come back to the default frame and you need to do for the same operation then <clears throat> how cypress uh, this uh, not cypress the play right how it will work we'll see here now say i'm going to second frame which is a all text if all text if i click this is the information it is displaying whether it is displayed or not we'll see here now now again i'm copying this one i'm going to use for it now again time dot sleep there are two seconds to wait on element presentation and i need to choose for second frame that is package frame okay now package frame i'm going to move now what i can do here <clears throat> my text is alt this is the one i am going to click this particular one now you can see now alt text is clicked but still we are not coming out of that right means we are not used for to coming outside the frame right but still we are able to click this particular alter correct without coming out of the frame we are able to click that particular value which is the one it is presented that particular one we are able to click without coming out of the like frame we are just moved into the frame we done the operation and we come out of the we are not coming out of the frame also but still we can able to because this play rate it will help you to handling the freely the uh, uh, <clears throat> easily uh, communication to the frame okay this is another best approach it is presented for a play rate okay and again i'm going to use it for this accept if i click the accept it will display this one okay and we'll see whether it will display that particular element and whether we are able to click this particular element or not okay this one we'll see again. now i'm not going to use for this css selector path but now i'm going to use it for frame name okay frame name how we can able to use it i'm not using this entire thing and i'm just i'm going to do it for <coughs> frame the frame it will take for <coughs> two option one is name and another one is url any one of the parameter if you pass it will take that one okay we have all the frames having for now i'm going to delete this frame <coughs> and if you come and see and our third frame is presented for class name okay this is a class name it is presented i'm just i'm going to provide for my class name here okay now i provide for the class or the frame name which is the name it is presented that name what we need to click now this is the accepted accepted i want to click just i'm going to mention in the accept just i'm going to click for that accept now you can see the frame name also by using the frame name we can able to now all text and it should click for accept also see the accept it is clicked and again it is showed for another page our test case is passed 
okay this is a format we can able to use and we can able to click and means we can able to jump into the out of the frame like without coming default frame we can able to handle a normal format which we can able to locate by using the frame locator or frame name these two we can able to use it and we can able to execute our execution inside a frame okay this is a simple explanation about the frame i hope you understand this one please like me video please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share your friends and colleagues thank you